कौन है अरे और जोर से दिल्ली वाले तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू वेरी मच नाइस टू सी रूम ऑलमोस्ट फुल समबडी वाज टेलिंग मी दैट यू नो की नोट्स बिफोर 11 ओक्लॉक इन दिल्ली मींस दैट रियली यू आर नॉट दैट एक्साइटिंग स्पीकर राइट सो आई टुक अ चांस एंड थैंक्स एबी एंड सुनील फॉर हैविंग मी हियर रियल प्लेजर टू बी हियर विद ऑल ऑफ यू स्पेशली बिकॉज I think the whole digital game. I think there's a lot of confusion, as uh, uh, as as uh, uh, I said uh, in my uh, sort of brief, which I shared earlier this morning. Um, it's an amazing world, right? A lot of amazing things are happening. It's a very grey world. Look at the valuations. I mean, who would think things are actually going down, uh, getting valued at billions of dollars, right? It almost seems that people are giving money. Uh, to companies uh, to make sure they don't make money. Right? Isn't that uh, uh, brave or a foolish part of uh, the, the world we are in? What do you think? Come on, guys, I need engagement. This is not, I don't have any presentations. This is not going to be a uh, one way uh, talk to you guys. I, I would like to hear from you uh, what you what is your view as well, because the whole purpose of having this coming uh, all the way here. back to uh, uh, this, this whole uh, new world which we are coming into. Consumer 2.0. Who's this consumer? Do we really understand, you know, as, as the ad clip was there, is it Jack or Jacqueline? What are we talking about? Who are we talking about? Right. And the way at the heart of this whole thing is, to my mind, how do you look at digital? Do you look at digital as the core of your business and therefore marketing? Or do you look at digital as a peripheral, as an enabler? Now these are two very different things. And the honest truth is there is nothing wrong in using digital for driving improvements. Right? You need to understand the customer, you need to do things cheaper, you need to have better reliability, you need to have lower cost. These are all great objectives and they will do immense good to, uh, to your organization. There is no doubt about it. But the reality is that that is digital as an enabler. That is digital as a peripheral. It 
is not digital at the core. And what do I mean by digital at the core? Digital at the core means that you have to reimagine your business. You have to reimagine marketing. You have to forget who you are. If you start thinking that I make automotive, if you start thinking that I make uh, cement, if you start thinking that I make uh, uh, I make uh, hotel rooms, then you are no longer talking about digital transformation. You are talking about digital as an enabler. And as I said, nothing wrong in that. So that is one part of the story and that is something which is extremely important. Everybody must do it. It is highly recommended. Good for your health. Good for your paycheck. No problem. But the other word is the word of digital transformation. And what is that word? That word is really saying that can we reinvent our business? Can we reimagine our business with the consumer, with the customer at the center of our universe? So we have to forget who we are. And this is where the challenge comes. It is so difficult for companies to forget who they are. We all start life saying that I am a cement company. I am an aluminum company. I am a company which is making, uh, making uh, mobile units. I am a factory which is going to churn out uh, uh, garments. And I am very successful, right? I have been doing this for last uh, 5 years, 10 years, 15 years. And what has been successful? Are you saying that I need to reinvent? I need to break down all this and start all over again? And this is the big challenge. And this is why it is so difficult People talk a lot about digital transformation. And to my mind, they are actually not really meaning digital transformation. They are talking about digital enabled business. Good luck. No problem. Digital transformation, on the other hand, says that what is what is what is what is it that the customer wants really? What are the needs? What are the aspirations? What are the values in the new world? So in the new world, what is happening? In the new world, as I said, there is a whole thing about mobility. It is always present with you. The day that mobile is not in your pocket, there is a, almost a withdrawal symptom, right? There is, there is depression, there is anxiety, there is huge amount of Discomfort, right? How many of you have, uh, in the last six months, left your mobile home? Raise your hand, right? And remember that time. Oh my God, what is happening? You know, something is, something is missing from my life. Right? Now, is is when you talk about digital and you talk about digital transformation. What are the key things that need to be considered as core to what you need to do? First, mobile. Is mobile the centerpiece of your business strategy? Number two, is internet integral to your business strategy? And third is data. The problem is all of us look at these three things in a very disjointed manner, saying that yeah, I have a I have an e-commerce site or I have some sort of data analytics going on as an add-on. That will not work. And really, the uh, I must compliment Amy and Puni for this conference, uh, which I understand just now is the first conference that digital is also about joining the dots. So marketing, technology, customer, the behaviors, the behavior uh, scientists, all these things together. Because the world of silo thinking, the world they are saying that he's marketing, I'm technology, I'm someone else. Now 
is a world where all of us need to work together. And therefore, the title, Artec itself, is a, is a very good sign. It's a good uh, progress uh, to work where we want to be. Finally, where, where are the marketers? Have we lost the bus? Have we missed the bus? <coughs> right? And as, uh, again, the initial slides said, advertising spends are going up. But what about engagement? There are today people who have technologies to say, as soon as the ad comes, skip. I don't want it. Right? Please give me uh, content which is without any of these uh, uh, things which I'm not interested in. Are you really addressing the core of what the consumer is wanting? And that core can only be done using two things. In my mind, it is all about data and all about algorithms. <laughs> if you, in, in, in the new world, the competition is going to be, the competitiveness is going to be, I have got the person you are got. How much of data, how much of rich data, how much of data quality content, and what sense, what sort of insights I have about the customer versus what you have. And these things will keep changing very, very fast. So my dear uh, friends, uh, in summary, I will only say that the days of uh, stability, the days of looking back and saying this is what we did all this time and the world is going to remain the same or it is going to be changed marginally, incremental changes. My fear is that world is not for it. The world in front of us is a world of constant, brutal change. There is no one. And therefore, really what we really need to do is to reimagine our business. And many times for successful businesses, from inside the bubble, it's very difficult to reimagine. So a lot of great companies actually think about having a separate division, a separate CEO. Because the fact is, the truth is, a, a, a new plant, a new shoe, will not uh, survive under a large tree. So it requires a separate sort of uh, setup and uh, you know, uh, uh, support to make it into another big place. Uh, with that, uh, I think I have said what I had to say. The, the clock is also telling me that we have five minutes left. Uh, any questions, any ideas? Yes, the lady is ready. Exactly what my question was, I think one of the most interesting dynamics we've seen in this new world is between the CMO and the CIO or the CTO. And you spoke about reimagining the business, but I think people also have to reimagine their roles, right? So marketers are more technologists, technologists are more marketers. What are the one or two most important things you've learned about working with CMOs uh, when it comes to delivering customer experience in this world?
good morning, Dr. Sunil Gupta. I am CIO head uh, from Government of India. Uh, I think you rightly said, you know, this, uh, today's people, mostly people, they confuse digital transformation with something, whatever they do. But digital transformation is not a subject, it's a complete ecosystem, basically. Absolutely. Yep. So that's, the, that's why most of the people you see today, companies are failing. 80% failing. Why? Because they confuse digital transformation with, you can say, going digital way. Yeah, yeah, so that has to be taught to them initially, yeah. old man, 40 years I've been doing this, right? It's easy to support somebody to stand on the stage and talk about transformation. But the reality is, as a human being, continuity is safe for me. Exactly. And then what I do, Dr. Sahab, is that I look at business models. I look at Ola. I look at Zomato. I say, oh, yeah. oh, what is the guy's business? Oh, you yeah. yeah. The guy doesn't own a single car, the guy doesn't own a single restaurant, and the guy has built his own business on what? On a platform. What else? What else? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. So many people, each one of us, whichever business we are in, can we think of ourselves as uh, Ola? Think of the Ola model. And that is digital transformation. Thank you. Yes, sir. My voice is loud enough. I would like to know how and you know how CIO, CMO, CEO, CEO and CTO roles are converging. How is it the wise and how's behind it? How and the wise? I think uh, why is very clear. Why is we have to do business. I mean, you open the paper today and you say there is you know there is gloom and doom, right? I mean, no amount of gyan, no amount of um, uh, wisdom is going to change human beings as much as fear and greed. These are the two basic sentiments of anybody. There is a fear in the market today. Then who is going to buy my products? What is going to happen to my assets? Right? That is the why apart. There is no alternative. We are seeing what is happening already. All the big names, all your storied uh, ideas about how you were so successful. What is happening today? You tell me. Why is the consumer not buying? Something has happened. I don't know what has happened. So that is the one. And the second part is the how. How is, uh, how is, uh, it depends. I think it depends on the maturity, it depends on the context, it depends on the variety of uh, situations. There are some people who still are in denial mode saying that this, this doesn't work for us, we are fine. There are others who are embracing it very, very, very uh, strongly. And there are some people who are still watching uh, how things work out. Uh, but eventually I think uh, uh, people will find their own uh, solutions. But the reality is, whatever you call it, at the end of the day, it is all about data, it's all about algorithms. That is the reality of the whole thing. Crux is that. This is the currency. This is the way the world is going to be. It is all algorithm here. That doesn't mean human beings go away. That doesn't mean oh, you and I will lose our job. It only means that we have to redeploy. We have to reimagine ourselves. Do we reskill ourselves? Absolutely. Doing the same thing every time is not okay. Thank you. Well, everybody, congratulations.